Right, so though, it's, a, it's a familiar feeling, isn't it? At home, everything seems to be going quite well. You get you get the lead, and then have you have you ever known anything like this? We've come off feeling. How did we lose that game? No, we we were winning one nil. I don't know what happened. Suddenly, they score one goal, and pff, you're trying to fight and you're trying to get, do the best things. So things cannot happen again. That has been this season. This is something strange, like. When teams score one goal, they try and score. We might need to go a little bit ugly for five minutes, then try to play again, something like that. Or I don't, I don't know. But it's been very strange and frustrating, and it gets. We went again and we tried to fight, but to be fair, them goalkeeper today was good, so credit to him. But it's the way it is. We're gonna try and go Monday again and make sure if we score first. That not happen again. Yeah, you probably forced one of the best saves of the match from a free kick. I mean, I don't think you've seen you take a direct free kick before for Cheltenham. But how did you manage to get it? Well, I've been doing it at the training ground in Norby. To be fair, I think and uh, like the normal take takers will, was going to get a Norby come into my head and said, "Come on, lad, you know you can do it. You're confident because he saw me taking a training ground." And Norby said, "Go on, let us sit, take it." And I step into it and I try to do my best. Yeah. Did you think? I know you're disappointed with the result. Did you think you had a better game today? Because you moved recently gone back to right back. Did you feel like you played quite well today? Got the sponsors man of the match. Well, I'm always trying to do well, but for me that is not important. If I get man of the match, I'm upset, and man of the match is not important thing. The important thing is three points at the moment. We are not doing well. Maybe one point, but man of the match, yeah. But to answer your question, yeah, I think I'm trying to do well, yeah. I yeah. think I did okay. I think I could could do better maybe on my crossing on second half. But overall, yeah, I think I did well and I think I quite, I quite fight well for the team. Yeah, for, for a long time, the season looked like it go either way, didn't it? And you, you got you look like you've got enough points to stay out of trouble, but it's just fin it looks like it could be finishing on a disappointing note, which is not good. You've got three games left to now try and salvage at least some sort of positivity. No, this season has been bad. We, we, I think the quality we have, we don't need to be, f be on this position. You know, fans don't like it to be like fighting for, don't get re relegated or even play for nothing. You know, fans like you being up there. And I think this season has been strange for every team. So we had the chance to go to playoffs, but like you said, the games hasn't be. They have been strange, like we winning one nil and losing two one. So. I think it's, it's been a very bad, not a very bad season, but it's been a season not like Sheltonham normally do. So, yeah, you, you, you've been a popular player here in three years. Do, do, you, do you worry about the future? Because you know, as the manager stands here and scratches his head, you know, trying to work out what's gone wrong, he, he is going to be looking to make changes. But do, you, do you worry about whether you're going to be here or not next season? No, I'm not worried. You know, when you come Monday into training and you give your best Monday and you give your best every training session and. Every game, you know, or, you know, if things don't go right, you just need to. Well, I did uh, the best things I can do. So, when you work hard, you never worry about nothing. Yeah. So, has anything been said at all about next season yet? There's only, obviously, only three games left now. No, not me. I didn't hear nothing to to other players. No, nothing at all. Yeah. Look, I suppose all you can do now is is try and finish with some decent results. You got Mansfield away. Rochdale away, both going to be difficult, and then Dagenham at home. So, do you think it could still be in the balance for your future? Do you think it could still be in the balance, or do you think the manager already knows who he wants to keep? No, it's definitely these three games are important for 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 the players who want to get the contract, who want to get a good contract. These games are massive, massive for them, of course, yeah. Because the way this season have been, I think manager definitely trying to. Look and trying to change some things so he can get close to the to the two previous years. So that is for sure. These three games are massive for some of the players. Yeah. Do you think after what the manager's done the last two years, very good playoffs, big FA Cup games? Do you think he's almost earned the right to have one disappointing year as long as he gets it right next year? Yeah, he's he's uh, he's allowed to, to have that. But the question you asked me uh, early if, if this three games going to be important, and I think he is. Because games are over 40 games, so over 40 games, if you have a bad season, something is going wrong. So I don't think uh, 
he's allowed to have one bad season, but I think he's definitely looking to change a lot of things. Yeah. And I think that's the right thing to do, right? because over 40 games, if you're not doing well, it's got something going wrong. Yeah, because you can look for reasons why, but overall, like you said, the league table is the the obvious indicator, isn't it? Where you finish in the league is where you deserve to be. Do you think that's fair? Mm, yes, I think you're right, but sometimes you have seasons with no luck as well, on my own opinion, and you have seasons with luck, because I remember first year we went everywhere and we won 1-0. One in, one in, one in, one in, and we had luck that season. And this season is another way around. We win one nil, and we suddenly concede two goals in the space of two minutes, space of five minutes. So it's been strange, but I don't know. I think he's probably planning to have some changes, and I think it's the best thing to do. It. Yeah, when when things do start going wrong, it's difficult to stop it, isn't it? Difficult to turn it around. You know, having a just nicking those one nil wins suddenly you're losing games that you should be winning and it's difficult to, to get out of that habit, isn't it, sometimes? Yes, it is, but we are professionals, professionals, so we need to do it. And we need to take that habit out of the club and when we win one nil, trying to fight and be on, on on that lead for as long as possible or trying to get the second goal and trying to get two goals difference Yeah, might be helpful. Yeah, Mansfield are quite a physical side, aren't they? That's what their reputation is. They came here and won, but it was pretty brute one stuff, wasn't it? Well, they are physical. We are professionals. We need to go there and need to try to fight each man, fight with each man, and, and the ones who who do better is going to get the three points. Yeah, this is my thinking right now. Okay, thanks, Edo. Cool.